Today's topic is post-streptococcal glomerulonephritis. Post-streptococcal glomerulonephritis is a kidney disease that develops after infection with certain strains of Group A streptococcus bacteria. The condition causes inflammation of the glomeruli, or small vessels in the kidney, making the kidney less able to filter urine. The streptococcus bacteria do not cause infection in the kidney itself, but rather in the throat, group A strep pharyngitis, and skin, group A strep skin infections. The bacteria cause infections such as strep throat, scarlet fever, and impetigo. It usually takes approximately 10 days after the start of symptoms of strep throat or scarlet fever for post-streptococcal glomerulonephritis to develop, and about three weeks after the start of symptoms of group A strep skin infection for the condition to develop. The condition tends to affect children between the ages of 5 and 12, and adults older than 60 years. Causes The condition is an autoimmune disorder. The affected individual's infection-fighting system causes the disease, rather than the strep bacteria directly. The body makes antibodies while trying to fight off infections. These antibodies are the part of the infection-fighting system used to identify bacteria so they can destroy them. Normally, dead bacteria and antibodies will clear from the body without problems. However, in post-streptococcal glomerulonephritis, they become trapped in the glomeruli, causing inflammation. Symptoms Tiredness Blood in urine Fever A headache Nausea Hypertension or high blood pressure Dark reddish-brown urine Swelling or edema, especially in the face in the hands and feet, and around the eyes. Protein in the urine. Less urine frequency. Diagnosis and treatment. The doctor will make a diagnosis based on symptoms and physical examination in a person who has recently been sick from a bacterial infection. Urine analysis may be carried out to check protein and urine in the affected individual. Blood tests may also be used to check kidney function. An ultrasound of the kidney may also be recommended. Biopsy, where a sample of the kidney is taken and investigated, may also be recommended if the diagnosis is still unclear. Treatment. Treatment options usually involve treating the bacterial infection, if need be, treating symptoms, as well as monitoring and supporting kidney functions. Treatment options include decreasing swelling by reducing salt intake, or by prescribing diuretics medications that increase the flow of urine. Medications to reduce blood pressure. Antibiotics to treat any strep bacteria left in the body. For severe kidney damage, dialysis may be needed to support the affected individual while the kidneys recover. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.